Finally, Brad, uh, we talked a lot about culture, employee engagement, uh, skill set, and storytelling. And I feel that as an HR professional, we are the people that are telling these stories when we are engaging with job seekers or when we're bringing onboarding and then promoting or retaining the, uh, the, the employers. So what tips do you have for HR people in general or recruiters? Wow. Well, I have a couple of tips. One, one would be know your business. Mm -hmm. A lot of HR people and recruiters know recruiting or they know HR. Mm -hmm. and the truth is the boundaries shouldn't be there. We should really know the business and we should embrace our knowledge of the business. And we, we always complain about not having a seat at the table. Yes. One of the reasons we don't have a seat at the table is because we think about things from a people perspective. Mm -hmm. And really that's a tool we use just like technology is a tool. And if I go into an executive boardroom and I talk in IT speak, I I've lost them. But if I go in and say, you want to increase the amount customers are purchasing, purchasing from us every transaction, here's the way we can do that. And that the technology becomes a back end piece to help foster business success. You gain credibility. HR is the same way. We need to start talking about the same business. Language. Yeah. Two, internally and externally. I think that's a big thing. Second tip I'm going to give HR folks is we are at a very interesting time. There are two aspects to HR. One is the defensive aspect. How do we stop our companies from getting sued? How do we make sure we're in government compliance? Mm -hmm. And that's what I would call the reactive compliance side of HR. Then you have the second side of HR, which is, how do we build our brand? How do we bring the right employees in? How do we help our company maintain customer relationships? And that's all about growing your organization through your people. It's a proactive aspect of HR. And, and they're so uniquely different. different. And unfortunately, two things are happening. One is many organizations solely embrace the compliance side and they've lost the opportunity for growth because they aren't focused on that. Second problem that occurs is there's no alignment. What your left hand is doing is different than what your right hand is doing. So you tell people when you do the employee engagement survey, we love you, we're family, we want, we embrace you, da da da, we have this great culture. And then we hand them a handbook that reads like it's from a lawyer yeah. that typically says, you're, we expect that you're going to lie, steal, and cheat from us every day, right? And so as an employee, you get two different messages. And you, you, don't believe, you don't believe the good message because the bad message is there, right? So yeah. we've lost the opportunity. So I think employers and HR need to find alignment and they need to focus more on the proactive side of HR. Mm -hmm. The compliance side, in many cases, can get outsourced, but you can't give up your strategic focus. And I think HR needs to take on much more of a strategic focus going forward. Yeah. So... Uh Thank you, Brad, for taking the time to answer my questions and sharing your knowledge with my audience. Uh, so any of you liking any of the videos, uh, please like and share. If you'd like to connect with us, you can reach us on our LinkedIn or social media platforms. And again, thank you, Brad, and uh, hope we can meet one day, maybe in Vancouver, and maybe in your city. And I would enjoy time. that. Yeah, and till next time, bye, everyone. Bye, thank you.